A little submarine, friends. Now that my little uh, deep worker style submarine is completely finished, dive ready, it's literally sitting outside and could go diving today anytime I want, all done. So this submarine, my deep diver, has been sitting outside in the yard for three months and it just looked terrible. A friend came over to help me and I was just embarrassed that he even saw it, it looked so bad. So I decided to pull it in, strip it down, and there's a few changes I want to make. One change is I want to make the whole submarine operate off a handheld control unit on a cord. That's how the other sub works and that's how my two-man sub neck and gown work. It's really terrific. So I gutted the hole inside so that I can do that. It's not a big job. So the next thing I want to do, I want to make the body so that it's three sections instead of one. It's quite awkward. When I want to work on the submarine, I have to take the whole body off, and that's just a pain in the ass. So I'm going to chop it into three pieces and mount it on. Again, not a really big job. Plus, I want to increase the volume of the forward ballast tank. It's an integrated fiberglass tank integrated into the body. So I'm just going to chop it up, make it bigger, and glass it back together. Um, I'm adding, I believe, six imperial gallons, so that's 60 pounds of buoyancy, that's all I need, just to level the submarine out. So I thought I would make some videos showing how the submarine is built, each stage of the, of the assembly, I'll make a video, just to show you guys how I've done this. So, first stage, the buoyancy tanks. These are carbon fiber natural gas tanks from a vehicle. They cost 4,500 US a piece. Of course, I'm not gonna pay that. So these are only three years old and they have a 30 year lifespan. So I paid 400 bucks a piece for these. That's so cheap, I bought an extra one. So this provides me the buoyancy that the submarine lacks. The spear is too heavy on its own. There's no reserve buoyancy. In fact, if I jump in it just myself in the spear, it'll only barely float. So obviously I need batteries and all the rest of that stuff. So the buoyancy comes from these two tanks. They double as air supply for the ballast system. This tank just sits here and is buoyancy. It has a thousand pounds of pressure in it just to resist the water pressure from outside. And then the other tank, it has 2,000 pounds or whatever I happen to need and it uh, Supplies so that 2,000 pounds supplies the air for the ballast system plus buoyancy on the other side. Each of these tanks, depending how much air is inside, gives me about 500 550 pounds of buoyancy, so around 1100 pounds. Perfect. So now I can really add the weight to the bottom of the submarine, giving it really good stability. And so far in the test pool, I've shown that that's the case. So I'll make a video on the next step, so ciao for now.